Wahala, Aso Rock shakes as Tinibu receives unexpected warning over Nam Dikanu's continuous detention. This is not really Wahala because the way the government they handle this Nam Dikanu matter, it be like say they don't want to release them because this man. He don't do that this detention, no. Now, through this matter, now his parents, they, they just go like this, so. So, make the government do this well, so that this man no go pay for that, oh. Because if that kind thing happen, it go cause katakata, oh. So, my people, when I go come here at this report, it be, oh. The indigenous people of Briafa, whether they call IPOP, they don't urge the Nigerian government say make it cease what they describe as the ethnic and political persecution of their leader, where be the person of Unan the Kanu. The IPOP, they come pointed to the ongoing trial of Kanu, which they come claim say it is illegal and unjust, especially given the appeal court's ruling. That are discharged in of all charges. The con they say, despite this ruling, Kanu is still continues to face persecution. A situation where we say the IPOP, the con believe say it they rooted it ethnic and political bias. So, in my powerful, where we say now be the spokesman for IPOP, he can criticize the Nigerian government. For what he considers an unlawful trial of Kanu. According to Ramo, he said the judgment from the appeal court remains valid and the government has no legal grants to continue prosecuting Kanu. IPOP, the court asserts that the continued legal action against their leader is a clear violation of both Nigeria and international laws. They can argue that Kanu's initial arrest and extradition from Kenya to Nigeria were illegal and brought it to a violation of international status. I purpose they can emphasize that the Nigerian Supreme Court they don't already acknowledge the illegal Gality of Kanu's redition, but as failed to act decisively due to what they believe is pressure from the country's executive branch. You can see, say, powerful comforter stated that the Nigerian government's action not only contravene domestic law but also international conventions including those governing human rights. IPOP, they can't believe that the government's refusal to release Kanu na part of a broader agenda of ethnic and political persecution. Targeting Kanu and the Biafra self-determination movement to, according to IPOP, their cause aligns with international laws such as those upheld by the United Nations and the Africa Charter on Human and People's Rights, which protect the rights of people to peacefully seek self-determination. IPOP, they come highlighted the ongoing health challenges where we say can they face as the we say they detention no. The con they accuse the Nigerian government of deliberately allowing its condition to worsen. They argue that despite multiple rulings in favor of Kanu's release, the government has ignored this judgment. 
further demonstrating their disregard for the rule of law. Ipopcon expressed frustration that Kanu remains in solitary confinement under the custody of the Department of State Services, whether they call DSSO, despite court orders for its release and compensation. Additionally, the IPOP, they can accuse the Nigerian government of collaborating with criminal elements in the southeastern region of the country to fabricate charges against Kanu. They can believe, say, the authorities are attempting to manipulate the judicial process in order to justify Kanu's continued detention. No. You can see, say, according to the IPOP, they say this attempt to create false evidence now part of a larger effort to discredit their movement and silent cause for Biafra independence. In their statement, IPOP, they can reiterate that Kanu has committed no crime, either under Nigeria or international law, and that its prosecution is a politically motivated effort to suppress the Biafra struggle. They can they call on the international community, same they recognize the injustice be perpetrated and to hold the Nigerian government accountable for its actions. IPOP, they can vow to continue resisting what they see as a deliberate campaign to undermine their legitimate quest for self-determination, insisting that they will not allow this alleged plot against Kanu to succeed. So, guys, of a true to the way this Nandu Kanu matter, it don't linger. It sure say something. It dey behind them all. Because it gets some people where be say, what did they even do? The offense where they commit to the government day. It dey serious that this Nandu Kanu matter, but the government, they use their power. They release them all. Why be say, the Nandu Kanu matter? Now it come they different. Now because say, ethnic group matter, it don't cause for Allah for this our country of a truth, unity, in not do because of say canu na ibo na make it matter can they legalize this then a question will be say are they true to our government to may they try release this man because he don't do the detention for a very long time oh and with the way he ate matter can they go so make him not go lose his life for there oh so my people i no say anything where we say get beginning he go most surely get end. So I go wrap up this matter here. This, na bleach channel, I better make you not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.